What is up you guys? Today we are going to be answering the question, can you buy a house, particularly a new construction house, without a realtor? For those of you who are new to our channel, my name is Robert Navarro and I am a broker with New Built Dot Real Estate. And in tradition, before we dive into these fun and sometimes tricky topics, we always like to present a different beer for the video. And today's beer is, okay. It's from Tups, which is in McKinney, Texas. It's actually one of my favorite breweries. It just, they actually just opened a brand new like location. It's huge, it's awesome. We are tasting Evil Dankster. It's an Indian, an Imperial Indian Pale Ale. Uh, so, it, and it's a 9%, which is my favorite level of percentages in most beers. It's gonna explode since, you know, my producer threw it at me, but let's give it a quick taste. Ah, oh, this is a good beer. I would say I'm gonna try to drink 100% of this one. So let's dive into today's video or topic of, can you buy a house without a realtor? And the answer is yes, absolutely you can. I don't care what anybody tells you, can you buy a house without a realtor? The absolute answer is yes. Now, should you? That's another thing. In my personal opinion, and for those of you watching who are biased, what a ball, that's other can say, of course a realtor saying this is, uh, the answer should be no. And I don't want to just use the word realtor or real estate agent, I want to use the word representation. Because you don't have to buy a house using a realtor. You could have an attorney, you could have, you know, your uncle that knows law really well, but it maybe is retired, whatever. My point with representation is just someone that is in the, you know, transaction or a part of the transaction that has your best interest at heart. We are in the midst towards the end of what is probably one of the craziest lawsuits that has fit or hit the real estate industry. We've all heard about, you know, NAR's lawsuit with, you know, buyer's representation and all that. And I will say, I agree with a lot of things that are going on in that lawsuit. But I also think that there's going to be some things that will unfortunately just hurt the first time buyers or the consumer who's new to the market or looking again for their first home. But we're gonna do a whole video on my thoughts on the NAR lawsuit. And so I encourage you guys to, you know, like and follow our channel and you can see my opinions on that. Anyways, back to representation. Can you buy a house? The absolute answer again is yes, but the reality of the situation is most home sellers are selling their house with some sort of representation. They have someone on their side that is at the end of the day advocating for their best interest. In the real estate world, we say fiduciary duty. So your agent has a fiduciary duty to you, whoever you know contracts them. And one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that when you hire a real estate agent, whether to sell your house or to help you buy your house, is that is actually an employment contract. You are hiring somebody, whether again, it may be an attorney, whether it be a realtor or whatever it is, to work on your behalf to secure one, good terms, two, a safe property. That's important, right? You don't just wanna buy some, sorry, I don't know why I can say this on YouTube, shithole, that's gonna be just some sort of money pit that you end up buying somebody else's problems. And third, that has your best interest in terms of your holistic view, right? Unfortunately, sometimes we all think, oh, I just gotta buy real estate to buy real estate because it's the best way to build generational wealth or blah, blah, blah. But sometimes we don't understand what we're getting ourselves into. I have clients that come up to me all the time and they're like, Robert, I want a fourplex, a duplex, a single family or whatever, a condo. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, what are your goals? What are your objectives? Oh, well, you know what? Like this is, I'm gonna, I'm just buying this house because I wanna start, you know, generating income and passive income. And it's like, well, why are you looking at a single family home? And they're like, oh, well, isn't that the only way to do it? I'm like, no, have you considered buying a duplex or a fourplex, a triplex? You know, you can actually buy that with a traditional FHA loan with 3% down, the same way you would buy a single family home. If you wanna know more about that, like and follow, because we're actually doing that video in the next couple of weeks. Regardless of the whole point of having representation is someone that's in the industry, someone that knows what is going on, not just in the market, but that knows the law to a certain extent to be able to use it to your benefit. A lot of people don't know this, but actually selling your house with a realtor yields about 12% more than you would have if you would have sold it for sale by owner. Let's say it's anywhere between five to 9%, that's still far less than 12% that you would have not made had you not listed with someone that can, you know, 
again, advocate for you. If most sellers are aware of the fact that they're one, gonna make more money, that two, they have someone that knows how to write and write a contract to their benefit, and three, has all the connections, whether it be maybe, you know, the proper contractors, the right inspectors, title company, whatever it may be that needs to get done to properly sell that house at the max value or the max amount of profits to that seller, then what that means is if the, if the buyer comes and they don't have any representation, they're gonna get screwed. One party who is selling the house has representation. They have someone on their party in, on their side that knows the rules, that knows the laws, and can manipulate the contract, manipulate really the laws legally to their client's benefit. And then there's you, just a 9% beer. And at 9%, you're kind of buzzed, but you're feeling confident. You're kind of cocky and you're like, I got this, I don't need it, whatever. I'm gonna go ask her for her number. That's how we all feel. But at the end of the day, is it a right call? I don't know, she's a nine. You're a four, it's not gonna end well, besides the point. We always want representation in court. We want representation in our taxes. Why wouldn't you want representation in possibly the largest investment of your entire life? Real estate is hands down the best way to build generational wealth. You hand that house on to the next person, now they have two houses. They hand that house on to the next person, now they have three houses. And that is generational wealth. That is what we call old money, Queen Elizabeth, King, Eli King, what's his name? King Charles, whatever. That is generational wealth. Obviously they did some other shady shit. That's not what we're here to talk about, but besides the point. Can you buy a house without a realtor or without representation? Yes, you can. Should you? Absolutely not. Especially if you are buying from a builder. Thank you for watching my soap my soapbox, whatever it is. I'm just extremely passionate about buyers truly, truly being advocated for because in this market, in this country, it really is a who you know, unfortunately kind of thing. And knowing a good realtor, a good attorney, a good representative to vouch for what you want and what's best for your family is extremely important. With all that said, if you still think Robert is full of shit and I don't believe him and he's saying that because he's a realtor, whatever, don't work with me, call an attorney, work with an attorney, just please be represented. But if you do believe that I'm genuine and I really do care and love for my clients and their families and their well-being, I want to connect with you. The whole purpose of this channel is to help educate as much as we possibly can because we know that we can't work with everybody. But if I do have the opportunity of working with you, I would love to. And if at the end of the day, you just like learning about cool different topics and maybe you wanna join the industry one day as a professional, and this is your way of learning, which is one of the best ways, learning from others, then like and subscribe. But if you have questions and you think you're ready to join you know, this crazy, crazy world or journey that we call home ownership, then click the link below and schedule a call with myself or leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you honestly think you need a realtor? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Leave a comment. I will personally be engaging with you guys in the comments. We'll see you guys next week and have a good one. Cheers.